Hello friends, welcome to Dear Soccer. My name is Elali Frank and this is News Daily. If it's your first time here, please hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together. In today's edition, we're going to talk about the Black Meteors who have qualified to the next African Cup of Nations and are also a step away from qualifying to the Olympic Games. We also talk about the head coach who has explained the reason why Afenejan did not actually make a squad. We also talk about some African countries that have also already qualified for the 2023 African Cup of Nations. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into today's news. So let's start from the Black Meteors, where the Ghana under 23 team were hoping to qualify for the African Cup of Nations and also get closer to qualifying for Paris 2024. The Black Meteors had Algeria to beat. They went to Algeria and played a 1-1 draw and also came to Kumasi and managed to beat them by one goal to zero. That was great for Ghana because we needed to qualify. It was a time for us to also get closer to qualifying for the Olympic Games for the first time since 2014. In 2019, Ibrahim Tanko was closer to qualifying but unfortunately meshed out in Egypt when the team lost on penalties. This time around, Tanko formed a great team called most of the players that were playing in Europe to come and join his team. He had the likes of Enes Nyama, Fatai Shaku, Efriye Bani, Danlad Ibrahim, such experienced players that helped him to qualify. So Ghana played in Kumasi. The supporters were there. And Enes Nyama set up Fatai Shaku, and then he scored with his head. That was the Black Stars goal. Sorry, that was the Black Meteor school that gave Ghana the important win. Also, after that, the head coach explained one thing that was a major concern to everybody. A lot of people didn't understand why Afenejan was not part of the team. And the head coach had explained. He said that he did a list. He included Afenejan, but his manager told him that the player is not ready. That's quite unfortunate because if you watch how Ghana played, it was so obvious that if this young man was in front of that team, he would have, he would have at least scored a, a goal or two. Ghana has now qualified for the African Cup of Nations, as far as the U23 is concerned. Fortunately, this time around, the game will be played outside the season. So at least the players that are playing in Europe can come and join. One thing that worried us at the other time was because we played it in the middle of the season, and the team did not get most of the European players that helped the team to qualify. So still on the African Cup of Nations, but now let's talk about the senior side. So the 2023 African Cup of Nations qualifiers is still on. And you know that every international window, we come back to come and play. We are just literally two games away from the final qualifiers. But some countries have already qualified for the championship. The countries are... Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast are the host. So, like, once you are the host, you automatically qualify. So, we have Ivory Coast, we have Morocco, we have Algeria, we have Senegal, we have, uh, we have South Africa, uh, we have Burkina Faso, and then Tunisia. I think these are the seven countries that have already qualified. The Black Stars are closer to qualifying, literally. It's obvious that the Black Stars will qualify because we need just the points to be able to qualify. Even if Ghana were able to beat uh, Angola away, Ghana would have automatically qualified. But Ghana is still close. But so far, these are the seven countries that have already qualified. So today we talked about the Black Meteors who have qualified. We also talked about uh, Afenejan. We also talked about the countries that have also qualified. Now let's talk about something in Europe. So, so as a winger, and Silas Ferguson have been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. The duo created a remarkable legacy with Manchester United and Arsenal respectively, winning a combined 16 Premier League titles as they established one of the most famed rivalries in, in the competition's history. The Hall of Fame recognizes and celebrates individuals who have an exceptional record of success and have made a significant contribution to the Premier League since its inception in 1992. It is the highest individual honor awarded by the league. Charles Ferguson is the most successful manager 
the Premier League in history with a record of 13 titles, including winning the title for three seasons in a row on two separate occasions. So I think they deserve it. They deserve it, Silas Ferguson and then Asen Winger. So say congratulations to these managers and uh, I think they deserve it. But let me know who else deserves to be there. Like let me know which other coach. Others are saying that Moreno also deserves to be there. Others are even saying Pep Guardiola also deserves to be there. But let me know what you think in the comment section. My name is Elali Franco to meet again. Bye bye for now.